Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a reading looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. I have an overall energy for the reading and then I have my clarifying deck and the advice card that I would pull at the end, but that's going to be, these two are going to be in the, uh, extended. So any information for that's in the description box below. All right, in your recent past Taurus, you have breathed through the tension with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I'm really interested to dive into these energies because it seems like it's like, it seems like you're going through something pretty big right now. Um, because in your recent past with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, there was a lot of just feeling really unsettled. Like, I feel like, like just unstable in general, like just feeling all over the place, maybe you weren't having a stable home life or you didn't feel like you had a stable relationship or whatever it is there's a lot of instability in your material world um but this instability is it's almost like it's teaching you to find find your stability within now that sounds a little lame i get that but your overall energy for the reading is good fortune you have good fortune here and then in your immediate future you have the wheel of fortune we'll get there in a second um, so it's almost like the universe is saying, Hey, you have good things coming, but right now is a time to kind of work through some tougher energies because in your current energy, you have the tower with clear your mind. So something within you is falling away so that you can have a clear outlook, a clear perspective. You know, our perspective is our reality. So it's almost like the universe is helping you shift your perspective so that you can shift your reality. In your immediate future, you have see the bigger picture with the Wheel of Fortune. So it's almost like, to me, this card within itself is, like with the see the bigger picture, it's almost like recognize that everything that you're going through right now, even if it, you have no idea how this could possibly be the case, Recognize that it is happening for you, not to you. Whatever you're going through right now is actually a blessing in disguise because you have good fortune. It's leading you to good, good fortune and the wheel of fortune. All right, let's start by looking at your recent past, Taurus. This is recent past for Taurus. The Ten of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Swords. So this is, it's about dropping down your burden, dropping a burden of some sort and having this Ace of Swords here with the World card. And then, then there's the Star. Wow, this is a big situation. Um, so your recent past, it was heavy because you have this Ten of Wands in reverse here, but it was almost like the universe is pushing you to your limit to get you to drop the burden altogether, like to let go. Like, it's like you're hanging on to what isn't necessary. Now to you, it feels necessary, but it's not necessary for your happiness or your healing or really anything. And that's why you have the tower here because the tower is the falling away of something that isn't meant for you to be replaced with something that is, right? Um, now, whether or not you actually replace it with what's meant for you is up to you, but it's the tower is always the falling away of what is no longer serving you. All right, so you have the ten of wands in reverse here. So you're re this what you're going through right now. It's almost like it's it's like the best thing to ever happen to you, but to you it just feels not good, not good at all. But it it is. It's like it's. Like, I feel like you'll be able to look back because you have good fortune. So I feel like you'd be able to look back at the situation and realize why it had to happen the way it did. Reset past for Taurus. Reset past for Taurus, please. The moon with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So you were dealing with a ton of fear. And like, like almost like your illusion, like you don't realize that you're actually kind of stuck seeing things through the lens of an illusion. 
that illusion being fear. You fear that things are never going to happen for you. Because the Knight of Pentacles in reverse to me is like things coming to a stop, like a pause in your journey almost. And this pause in your journey or in your manifestation journey or just, just pause in general, it was put there to help you kind of work through the sphere here with the moon card. Because then, yeah, you have the seven of swords. So it's like there's a lot hidden from you, a lot that you don't know about your future or like why this is happening. And so your recent past, you were seeing things through the lens of the sphere. And it's almost like because, oh, I remember when I pulled these cards, I meant to say this in the beginning, you had breathed through the tension with trust all will be well. And I almost took both, but I didn't. Um, so it's almost like, like everything is working out for you. You just don't, you don't realize it yet. You don't see it yet because it's not happening the way that you want it to. Because there, yeah, there's the, the eight of wands in reverse with the, the knight of pentacles in reverse again, or the knight of pentacles, sorry. It's almost like, no, it's, that's definitely in reverse. Um, it's almost like, this period of like this, this yeah it's like your your journey came to a stop like this slower period in your life is to help you release a certain aspect of your subconscious that keeps manifesting it's like you keep creating this tower moment but let's see let's let's even see what this tower moment is this is taurus's current energy like clear your mind with the tower. Taurus's current energy. Yeah, it's like you're not seeing things clearly. That's it's There's a page of pentacles in reverse. Okay, with the 5 of swords. So that's the thing is you there's an opportunity here. That is exactly what you want exactly what you've been asking for it might not look exactly like but the outcome the way you will feel about the outcome is what you're looking for you're searching for a feeling right through a circumstance and so i see with this page of pentacles in reverse it's like there's an opportunity that you're not quite ready for that's not quite able to manifest and the reason is this five of swords energy this me against the world mentality you not believing the universe has your back the universe isn't punishing you. I feel like there's a level of, of this, of, of you guys, maybe just a few of you that feel like you're being punished. You're not being punished. You're being prepared. Okay, current energy here for Taurus. So this tower that you're going through, or that I feel like you constantly kind of try to, you do find yourself in it's to help you get rid of an aspect of your belief system that you keep manifesting into reality again remember thoughts become your actions become your or thoughts become your beliefs become your actions become your reality your perspective is your reality and so looking at the bigger picture and being able to see what's happening for you would totally change the way you feel about what's what you're currently going through you have the queen of cups with the magician you don't realize that your emotions your reactions to your reality that is what manifests your future so for you i feel like you keep like kind of like waiting for things to get better and then probably getting frustrated or fearful or whatever the case is when they don't without realizing that your response to this period of, of things feeling slow, things not coming to fruition, that's already manifesting in your future. We create our own reality. And I feel like that's what this is. And then there's the higher fit. This is literally perspective. So it's like, yeah, your perspective is what manifests whatever you want here. So this is about, this isn't, this is about a perspective shift of some sort, like a, a change in habits. Current energy for Taurus. Current energy for Taurus. One more.
Oh my goodness. The world in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. This is about your lack of certainty about your future. This is, this is, Virgo's reading was kind of similar in terms of this being about faith. Like, this is a cycle for you where you, your uncertainty and lack of believing that better is on the way is what keeps creating these tower moments. It's like you're stuck in this like self-limiting belief that keeps repeating itself. But what I see with the world in reverse is this is a cycle that really, really wants to complete. And so these tower moments that you keep getting hit with, it's the cycle trying to complete. It's not, it's not a punishment. Because again, then you have see the bigger picture with the wheel of fortune and good fortune. So that sounds like pretty good news to me. All right, immediate future here for Taurus. Immediate future for Taurus. Good. Okay. You have the five of swords in reverse with the chariot here. So this is the release of that you against the world mentality. That's the thing. though. If you don't release that mentality, things won't move forward. Because this chariot, I feel like this chariot could go either way. It's, it's saying if you can release that me against the world mentality, if you really truly can get to a point where you realize the universe has your back then that's what's going to move things forward. The universe is trying to bring you what you want, Taurus. It's trying. It's really trying. But remember, it's a co-creation. And you have to create it up here to create it down here. As above, so below. All right, immediate future for Taurus. Immediate future for Taurus. I want to take that one. Five of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Cups. So the Five of Wands in reverse to me is the release of conflicting energy. So that's the thing, right? If you're trying to put out this energy of, of hope and of, of trying to change your circumstances, but then internally you're still putting off energy of, oh, I'm not deserving. I'm not capable. The universe doesn't have my back. I'm always being punished. I'm fear, fearful of this, that, and the other thing then what you're doing is you're conflicting yourself, right? So then nothing can happen because positive energy and negative energy, they're getting outweighed and then you just kind of are stuck in more of the same. And I feel like that's what this energy is about, is getting tired of more of the same and realizing that this is about, it's, it's almost like this has to be your decision to make things better for yourself. The good fortune here that comes because you create it for yourself. It's not just like your weight, like everyone else who has created, you know, wealth or success or whatever it is that they're looking for, um, loving, stable relationships. Those don't just appear on their people don't just get lucky, right? That's it's actually created. They create it based on their, you know, own inner world, be it in this, you know, getting a little spiritual but in this lifetime or other lifetimes or whatever the case is it's it's just it's like really realizing that you are the master of your reality and you're supported in that it, you're not alone in that an immediate future here for taurus the knight of swords so i see i see i see things <laughs> i see things moving forward so, kind of swiftly it's almost like what this is saying See, the two of swords and the knight of swords, it's like, it's like a crossroads. It's like you can either continue to be stuck in this, in this mentality that you're in, allow the cycle to keep competing, complete, or keep repeating itself until the end of time, or you have a decision to change the way that you perceive your reality. And that, that way that you perceive your reality, that change that you are capable of making, that is what, what will move things forward faster than you could even realize but you have to go within to do that right and if you're saying if you're sitting here saying how the hell do i do that my biggest advice is set the intention and ask for guidance i i ask for a perspective shift and i ask for guidance on how to do that you know i want to i want to have a good i want to have a good perspective on my on my current 
circumstances in my future. How do I do that? You know, universe, God, divine, whoever you, you feel comfortable speaking to. Um, but I just feel like this is, it's a vital cycle in your life that could potentially have some, some very long lasting effects if you're able to close it. All right, I'm going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to clarify these messages, jump in a lot deeper, and then I have an advice card to pull here at the end. Um, the information for that's in the description box below. It is a pay what you want slash can um, kind of structure. So the link for that is below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for um, the support of this channel. It means the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you in future readings. Bye, Taurus.